this. Sorry. I'd like to thank you all for coming to welcome you here from Newcastle and Kilcoon, from Fecal and Furbo, Blessington, Bomahan and Tremor. Uh, there's even a contingent from Johnny Kearney. And this is my dad and his friend Maura came all the way from West Mayo. This exhibition is really special for me because it's very close to my heart and it's also close to home, which is always scary. I love painting and I'm also doing it against the odds of what most people consider the basic equipment. But this event is unique for me because I've lived in North County Wicklow for most of my life for almost 20 years now. Well, not most of my life, I can't count. But more than half of my life. <laughs> so, Having something close to home is, for me, a kind of perilous adventure. And I know all about perilous adventures. One of my, in my former life as a mixed media and performance artist, I've had loads of exhibitions, all far away from home, which involved standing naked in front of people reciting monologues. <laughs> San Francisco and Tokyo, and I can tell you that standing naked in front of 300 Japanese people <laughs> being badly interpreted instantaneously in Japanese is less scary than being here right now. <laughs> <laughs> high risk also means <clears throat> high reward. Yeah. I really want this to happen here and I really want people to come and you've really come. Um, I'm very happy with my paintings and I'm delighted to have the opportunity for you to see them. Many people are involved in helping, put in, helping me put this together Signal staff were fantastic. Eamon de Butler agreed in principle many months ago to be here tonight, and that's great. But most of all, Eilish mm. Kearney, Lisa, Merriman Dutton stuck with me through the whole process and made everything easy and even enjoyable. Finally, I want to say a very big thank you to my spouse, my sponsors, and my buyers. <laughs> <laughs> My dearly beloved Dennis Buckley has been a great support to me for more than 20 years and has been particularly supportive of my painting. For nearly two decades he's been telling me that in his heart he's always sees me as a painter. And that was long before he even had a paint box to my name. <laughs> my sponsors, which include both arts councils on this island through the Arts and Disability Fund, subsidised my art materials for the last year. And my buyers, my buyers, <laughs> like my sponsors, are all intelligent, sensitive types <laughs> with impeccable taste. <laughs> when I decided it was possible to become a painter, lots of people told me, including some other artists, that no one makes a living as an artist unless they're dead. <laughs> and in my book, making a living when you're dead isn't much of a living. <laughs> and then again, not even for the first time, and probably not for the last, I was also told that I was being unrealistic. I've heard that so many times before. Anyway, they're all wrong. <laughs> so, to my buyers, my supporters, my sponsors, to all of you, thanks a lot. You make me once again what I like being best. The exception to the rule. <laughs> I love you.